Hi, I'm Leona. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tissue paper painting. Hi, I'm Leona and today I'm going to show you how to make a tissue paper painting which will be similar to this. Um, we're going to use very simple materials to make this. Um, children from the age of about five all the way up through high school and adult will have a great time making this. You'll see that you can get some very magical effects with this special tissue paper which actually bleeds. It has bleeding color and you will get sort of impressionistic, very watercolor-like effects just by using tissue paper and glue. So these are the materials that you need to make this tissue paper painting. You will need a white board, a heavy board, um, it should be 9 by 12 or larger. You will need a thick black sharpie pen, You'll need a pencil with an eraser. Number two, ordinary pencil is fine. You'll need a small paintbrush that can be used with glue. Um, you need a small container to mix, make a mixture of glue and water. And you need white glue. You also need bleeding tissue paper. There are two kinds of tissue paper that you can get in an art supply store. One kind is colored tissue that does not bleed, and the second kind is bleeding tissue paper like this, which you can't tell the difference just by looking at it, but when it's wet, you'll see the difference. The first step you need to do in making this tissue paper painting is to establish your drawing. So um, I'm going to do a simple drawing of flowers in a vase, a little still life, and um, I'm going to try to keep my lines very simple and bold. Anything that strikes your fancy, but try to keep your lines pretty simple and not too detailed. So I'm doing my pencil drawing and once this is all done in pencil, I'm going to go over all my lines with a thick black sharpie. So this is the way my drawing looks after I've already put the sharpie, the thick Sharpie pen lines on top of the pencil lines and if you have any stray pencil lines that are still showing outside the Sharpie lines you can erase them uh, but make sure that your drawing is fairly simple not too much detail and it looks a little bit like a coloring book drawing just very bold outlines What you need to do first is find a small recycled container that you can use to make your glue mixture in. You need to put in about two-thirds glue and one-third regular water. Mix it all up with a brush. Make sure you use a brush that can be used for glue. So I'm going to do my painting. I'm going to paint on some glue. and. It's okay for your colors to go outside the lines. It will make your picture much more interesting. I'm gonna use, um, on this leaf, I wanted to stick with fairly realistic colors. So, um, I'm gonna use greens, but I'd like to try a couple of different greens and see how they look together. There we go. And I'm painting glue on top as we go. Maybe you want to try a little wrinkling, wrinkling of the paper to see if I can make those leaves look like they're sticking out a little bit. Can you see how the glue is making the green of the tissue paper bleed outside the lines? That's one of the beautiful, sort of magical things about working with this bleeding tissue. You never really know exactly what's going to happen, and it's quite magical. 
By the way, just to give you an idea, I can put other colors in the background and I want to make sure that the other colors that I use are very different from the colors in the main part of the picture so that I can tell which is which. I'm going to go back to my leaves and stems now. It gets a little messy. The fingers are going to get colored from the tissue paper, but that's part of the fun of doing art. Here we go. And you're going to, once you have all of the tissue paper on that you want to have on your picture, you're going to let this dry overnight. And all the cloudy glue that you see in your picture right now will dry clear overnight. This is my finished tissue paper painting. You can see that I've left out some areas. I haven't put tissue paper over some of the areas. Um, the paper gets still gets a little bit colored from the, the glue being dipped into other colors of tissue paper, but I didn't feel it needed to be covered all over, so you can make that decision when you make your painting. Um, you can see a student's tissue paper painting on my blog at leonasartclass.blogspot.com and please let me know if you enjoyed the project and send me images of paintings that you've made. I would love to see what you're up to. Have fun and see you next time.